Hey, how's everyone doing out there? This is Oz from Oz Mechanics, and today we have ourselves right here, uh, I believe 2004 or 2005 Nissan uh, Altima, if I'm not mistaken. And on this issue is after the customer changed out their valve cover gasket, they noticed that it started stumbling and acting up on the idle. Uh, so I kind of thought it was a vacuum leak and after him, after I was talking to him for a little bit longer, he did tell me that he could hear a little hissing noise. So as a great scanner danner did in his old videos, I'm going to use water to find this vacuum leak. So first and foremost what we need to do, this had a little cover right here, I took that sucker off, we're going to turn on the, turn on the car and try to see if we can hear the vacuum leak so let's get that started this shouldn't be too hard like I said just hoping that he forgot something because like he said after he did the, the valve cover it started acting up and I don't know if you can hear it right now there is a vacuum leak Some valve covers you can actually uh, cause a vacuum leak if the valve cover is not on there properly. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to try to hear it. And I hear it coming out from right here actually. <laughs> there you go, can you hear the, the difference? Alright, so we're going to use a little bit of water. This shouldn't do nothing to the engine. Do you hear that difference? <laughs> Alright. So let's see what's under there. Let's see what we have here. So as you can see, this is connected to the valve cover. Let's see what's wrong with this. Is it cracked? Anything? Hmm. As you can see right here, <laughs> it's missing an O-ring. Wow. So that's it. That's what caused the big issue. I'm pretty sure what happened is when uh, he took it off, rather than turning it this way, he turned it that way, and the O-ring fell down. Can't see it down there, but pretty sure the O-ring fell down. Let me see if I have an O-ring right here. Got my little kit of all these O-rings. So if we ever have an issue, I can just take one out. Uh, Let's try this one. Let's see if this one works. All right. kind of it's alright make sure it doesn't fall off when we put it on there let's make sure that this is the fix and this will cause the code P17 P0171 Alright, and we're just going to do the, the test again to hear it. I think the customer is going to be really happy. Let them know that. This one still has other repairs to be done, but he's going to be really happy. 
Eh, there's nothing too too crazy. Just a repair of an O-ring. As well, this bolt broke off. Customer brought it over. Over tighten it. So I got that bolt that I gotta take off. So let's give this a try. Let's see what we got. Let's see if we can hear. Presto! A little water test. And nothing. So there you go. That's how you find the vacuum leak. Uh, other cars are going to be different, but man, scan it down and use this. And this is a perfect, perfect, perfect method. And yeah, plus it's always, hey, there's a perfect method to check out your vacuum leaks. If not, you got the smoke, the smoke test. You got different, different methods looking at your PIDs on the scan tool and so on. But there you go. This is a down and dirty with a little water to find a vacuum leak. So if you do like this video, please subscribe, thumbs up, and, and share. And uh, I'll see you next time, next video, man. Y'all take care.